in his book, Shakespeare's Contemporaries in 1919, the English poet, playwright, novelist and critic, Algernon Charles Swinburne wrote an essay entitled, Christopher Marlowe, in relation to Green, Peel, and Lodge. There he impressively highlighted the greatness of the poet genius, Christopher Marlowe, by formulating those only, who know and understand, can hope or can be expected to appreciate the greatness of the man who began his career by a double and incomparable achievement, the invention of English blank verse and the creation of English tragedy. It has not always been duly remembered, by students of the age of Shakespeare, that Marlowe is the one, and only precursor of the veritable King of Kings, and Lord of Lords, among all writers and all thinkers of all time. To one man only did Shakespeare ever pay the tribute of a passing word, a word of honor, of regret, of admiration, and it might almost seem, of affection. And to Marlowe alone it is, that we can feel, as though such a tribute had been due. But to him, we may feel, that it would be strange, if not a word of homage had been offered, not a token of regard had been vouchsafed, by Shakespeare.